Cheers. Hey everybody. It's time for right now this morning and we have sort of a brand focus a little bit. We got a little bit of Edison and a, a little bit of Benu, which we're going to be launching Benu, later this week. Benu. 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 We don't know. Benu. No. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Benu is how I'm calling it. So we've been dealing with them mainly over email. So <laughs> this is what happens sometimes. We don't know how to actually pronounce things because we deal like primarily with email. Like Diamine? Said Diamine for, wrong for like seven right. years. Right. Mommy. We have a video on that. Anyway, let's we talk about the uh, new Edison Beaumont. You want to kick it off with that? Yeah. All right. So we've got three new Edison Beaumont colors. And these colors may look somewhat familiar to you because we've done all of them in Goulet exclusives before. Absolutely. Over the years. Which is not surprising because they're fantastic colors. Right. So we had done this one several years ago. As in the Amber the, Glass? Uh, tortoise. Oh, with the new color? Yeah, the new name. The name of the color? That's a great question. I should know that. No, I'm telling you. <laughs> Amber glass. I think we called it Fleck Tortoise. Yes. Back when we did it um, with the, an encore. the encore. Um, this one is the famed unicorn bark no, no, unofficially. Just unicorn. Just unicorn. Just unicorn. Affectionately known in the community. Yes. It is a nod <laughs> to the full name without naming it the actual name. We called that Water Lily in our premiere previously. And then what's this Twilight last one? Embers. Twilight Embers, which we had it as um, Autumn Embers. Yeah. I believe it was. Yeah. As a premiere. In a premiere. Yeah. So anyway, very popular pen style, a little bit smaller pen. It's kind of like a flat top premiere of sorts. Um, and then still has a number six number nib six and a center band. That is uh, one of the defining features of the Beaumont. Absolutely. Uh, relative to other so, Edisons. Great pen. Nice to get a refreshing uh, color. If you want a broad, there. let us know too, because I'm, I'm I'm fighting to bring some broads. Bringing broads back. I'm not the only one. You're not the only one. I need I need support from the community. If you're interested in a broad, put it in the comments. Every time you get on right now and you talk about broads, people the people you know speak. What? They just need a spokesperson. They're out there. I'm they not are. creating them. They're, they they already know who they are. They they know themselves, don't they? The broad people. Let's talk about Benu. Let's talk about Benu. Benu. Speaking of not being able to get broads, because they, they don't even have it in broad. Um, Benu is a new, uh, relatively new brand altogether, I believe. I've mm -hmm. only had them on my radar for a oh. year, maybe at the most. Um, so they're based out of Russia, yep. which is uh, our first pen brand out of Russia. And the colors are clearly just unique. fantastic. Uh, very unique, very distinctive, unique shapes, um, and they some have, interesting things I going on. I think they're up to five or six t different pen models. We're starting with two. Um, we have the Briolette and the Chameleon. So these look actually pretty similar. They both have like a triangular shape to them. Uh, the big difference is the Briolette uh, does not post, and um, it takes a... Can, it does. Converter. Yeah. Yeah, they all take converters. So they have several different styles of pens. I think, I think only... it only takes a short cartridge, and these, I think... Nope, see, now I need to go check myself. I don't know about the length of cartridge. We'll have to check on that. But I know they all take converters because they come with converters included. See, now Rachel I need to know. Um, so we don't have these available for sale yet. They are coming this week. Wednesday. So the reason they're like top of mind for me... That's short and long. Um, oh. Yes. So okay. we got our shipment in. We're inspecting them. We're like pinning down all the photography and stuff like that. I did the Nibnook writing sample with each of the nib sizes, which I posted on my personal Instagram. So we'll talk about the nib. It's a smaller nib. It's a number, it's a number five. five. You know, that's one of the only things I don't like about these. I wish they had a number six, but I also understand the shape would have to be completely different to accommodate a larger nib, the grip and you know, the step, it would get weird. Yeah. So it's a Schmidt um, number five mm -hmm. steel nib, extra nibs. fine, fine medium. Um, the color kind of complements whatever's going on in the pen. So some are silver and some are the, uh, the gold plated here. Yeah, and I thought I could just do a quick little writing sample for everybody. So yeah, this is the Briolette. Um, these range in price from $74 to $80. Um, the $74 are most of them and a lot of them have sparkles. The ones that are at $80 are these two luminous ones. Luminous, you ask, what does that mean? They glow in the they dark. glow in the dark. Um, and and what also we have here are these pen holders um, that you can stick your pen in because there's no clip and they are fastest so they're not going to like crazy roll off your desk but it's a fun little piece. Um, so there's the crystalline one and the luminous and the luminous also glows in the dark so you can get a glow in the dark pen, glow in the dark pen holder, always find your pen wherever yeah. you are in case you need to write in the dark for some reason. I don't know. I don't know if it glows enough for you to actually be able to write in the dark with it. 
But I don't know. Try it out, Brian. <laughs> Let the people know. Wow, that is uh, wet. Yes. I like so that. So one thing I noticed about these, and I always like to talk about them when I nib book them, um, but testing out the different nibs. So they're Schmidt nibs, they're German nibs. You would think, yes, they're going to be like super gushing, kind of wet, broader than you would expect from, say, a Japanese brand. Um, and I haven't like taken the writing sample here and gone and compared it directly with others. We don't have it in the nib nook tool yet because I just did the samples. It'll be up soon. And I'm realizing now I still have it in my backpack. I need to give it to Sarah. But mm -hmm. um, just by my experience, the extra fine is actually fairly on the fine side, uh, more so than I expected with these. So um, I think if you are looking for like a nice daily carry, writing on some cheaper paper and stuff like that, the extra fine is actually going to do pretty good for you. The fine nib was not that different than the extra fine. That's not that different. Um, so it's fairly similar. It's definitely a little bit broader, but you know, it's not it's not really much wetter, so it's a not medium. gonna be much different. The medium nice. is a medium is a big jump. So medium if you wanna get, you know, more of their shimmering ink type of thing, you and know, you just, which you for these like pens is just like screaming for it. The medium is going to be more the way to go for you to get that higher shading inks or sheening inks or, or anything like that. Or you just like, like a smoother, rotter yeah. writing experience. Yeah. As some of us yeah. do. They're all fairly smooth though. There's a little bit of feedback on these. Um, not scratchy by any means. It's not like glassy, glassy smooth, um, but very one, pleasant writing experience. One other note on the Briolette, um, they do not post. Mm -hmm. So um, it is a slightly shorter, smaller pen. It does not post. Um, now talking about the Chameleon, we have three of the Chameleons here. Very similar. Um, do that post. It's more of a, it, it has that triangular shape. Almost, a, I guess it's six-sided technically. Um, these do post, yeah, absolutely. There's these like little grooves in the barrel. Mm -hmm. um, they kind of like And these are the um, screw cap. Not snap cap. I keep wanting to snap. But it snaps screwed. on the back, but it screws on the front. Right. So it, it it snaps right into those little grooves. But it's a very light pen. I mean, the only metal in these pens is the nib. So it's all plastic. So even though, you know, it's a kind of a fatter pen, you know, when you post it and all that, it's still very, very light. So honestly, whether you use it posted or unposted, me personally, I have pretty big hands. Um, and it's long enough where I don't have to post it. But I could on these ones at least. I don't know why I said the Briolette is triangular. It's, it's definitely not. not. It's, it's like just, faceted. It's crazy faceted. It almost looks kind of like a, this one's kind of like Twisby where it's got like these diamond kind of facets. I don't even know how to say how many sides these Briolettes are. Mm -hmm. A lot. 12? No. I'm sure there's a number. I don't know. Um, but the cool thing about the Chameleon, and these range from 90 to 120 in price. Um, the, the color. Yeah, it has a um, like a color shifting effect. So it's like, it's like green or purple. That's like a blue to purple. This has like a blue to purple um, and added glitter and all kinds of things going on. That's why it's a little more expensive. It's, it's got crazy. a lot going on. It's got a lot happening. Uh, and There's it's a really bit cool. Of it's, in this one too. it's some of the only pens I've seen that have iridescence to them. Like I think of like candy paint or chameleon paint. If you're in like the automotive world, uh, it's very much got that effect, and it looks really, really cool. This one's my favorite because it's a blue to purple. I mean, these are it just unlike anything scene. out there right now. It's pretty wild. I want to mix them up. These are not the kind of pens that you there will want to bring to a meeting if you want to be subtle. <laughs> you know, uh, this is the we kind of thing. We call these showstopper pens. Yeah, these would be the kind of things if you're looking to grab some attention, uh, you would definitely get it because they are quite literally just shiny objects. The Briolette. Um, they do write pretty decent too. So these these fit in the pen holders, but they're not quite as secure. These are really more designed for the Briolette. The Briolette. Yeah, and some of the other. So pens. you can can you put like other random pens in here? Out of curiosity. Sure. You can. We need to measure like the diameter, see like what you could really fit in here. That's actually a great question. It's probably already been listed in the comments by this point. Right. As soon as that's no, I'm realizing like, like how big of a pen can it fit? No, I'm realizing we need to do that. That's yeah. something that'd be really helpful for the website. Hang on. I know Andy's giving us the signal to shut up, but let's just measure it on the spot. Say crystal a couple seconds here. All right, let's see. But yeah, the, the Briolette fits quite nicely in here. So how big of a diameter pen can you fit in here? You can fit 14.5 millimeters. Of course it's like depends how far in it sits, if it's tapered and all that, but there you go. So roughly 0.57 inches. What pens are that size? Great question! Even the measurements we have posted on our site depends where on the pen you measure. We don't have any measurements that's like an if inch and a half it. from the back of the barrel. But anyway. Anyway, Andy's giving up. Re okay, really, guys, wrap it up signal. So there we go. <laughs> Just giving her a hard time. So these will be in stock later this week. 
Um, if you have any questions, mm -hmm. you know, post in the comments. Well, the Beaumonts are already in stock. You or any other off. colors that we don't currently carry of Bennu. Because ben there are more. There are more, and there's other models, too. So you can check out Bennu's website. If you're interested in anything particular, please let us know, because we kind of just... We're we like, let's start favorites. with these, yeah. yeah, but there might be others. So anyway, check those out. Leave us any questions in the comments. Hope you have a great Monday. Thanks so much for watching and right on.